Hi, this is Gilles in Radio Prepper. I'm not going to my operating location here, I'm coming back from it. This video was going to be about the uh, VRM 5080 operations and in particular also uh, my next project which is building a uh, magnetic loop antenna. Now I'm still going to talk about that and you're still going to see the VRM 5080 because uh, you guys really liked it and I really like it. But uh, my buddy uh, Frederick made a, an exceptional contact uh, here at the Coldez on the heights uh, north of Nice. And it's something that really uh, might happen only once in a lifetime, so <laughs> no kidding. Uh, so stay tuned for that, uh, it's really worth the wait. You know, before I uh, used to live in Florida, which is all flat, and also the north of France, which is also all flat. Flat country is very different from radio. Uh, it doesn't really help because uh, you're limited to basically uh, line of sight and uh, line of sight when you have the uh, curvature of the earth that's in between you and the other station it really limits your range here in the mountains it's totally different and uh, I'm really re-evaluating uh, VHF and UHF here because uh, you'll see <laughs> again you'll be amazed by this contact and I've made contacts with, you know, my little handheld Retevis uh, RT3S over uh, 50, 60 kilometers, even 100, uh, about 60 miles, no problem here. As soon as you have a little bit of height, uh, you can do very long distances on VHF and UHF. That's why I was hoping also to make uh, more contacts on 6 meter FM, it just didn't happen because nobody listens. But again here, uh, with the mountains and the uh, repeaters on the mountains, but not only that, you know, even in simplex, with a little handheld and 5 watts, you can easily go 100 kilometers, you know, 60 miles. For prepping, it changes the game too, because again, if you're in the mountains or you go, uh, you know, your retreat is in the mountains, you can cover a lot of ground with VHF and UHF. Is that going to change the way I operate radios here? Well, maybe. Uh, in some ways, yes. I can still use NVIS on 80 meters and 40 meters uh, to do local communications over mountains, which you cannot do in VHF or UHF. But direct line of sight from great heights, that's a whole new ball game. Now about the reason why I want to build a magnetic loop antenna. Because as it turns out, I live now in a very, very small apartment and I need an antenna for HF. So the only thing I can really make uh, that's not going to be too big uh, for my terrace is a magnetic loop antenna. I did uh, build one a while ago in Florida and uh, it was a 21 foot perimeter magnetic loop and it worked extremely well. So I really want to do it again but I was hoping that, that my uh, old loop would cover 20, 30 and 40 meters. But it covered only 30 and 40 meters because it was slightly too long for 20 meters. So this time I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. You can see here uh, what it looked like uh, <laughs> compared to me. So 21, 22 feet perimeter turns out to be about, you know, a little bit more than six feet tall. Uh, the next one <laughs> is going to be a little bit different. For my first loop, I used a program, a DOS program, to calculate the size of the loop and, uh, you know, know the value of the uh, capacitor. And you'll see how that's built. But uh, this program you can see here I have the uh, result for 20 meters you can use the pause button and uh, next one is for 30 meters and then I have the calculations for 40 meters but uh, this program as the other programs that I found they uh, they give you a length a perimeter that's slightly too long and it doesn't work well you know you can miss a band and you're slightly off frequency it seems like uh, most software that calculate the size of the loop and the web pages that do it 
uh, those calculations are a little bit too long by about maybe 15 to uh, 10, 10 to 15 percent maybe maybe up to 20 I'd say 15 percent too long I'll put the link down here in the description I remove about 15 uh, percent to the perimeter length of the loop here's the uh, 66 pacific.com uh, website that I use now for uh, calculating magnetic loop antennas circumference uh, which is the uh, perimeter I'll put 5 meters about 17 feet and the diameter of uh, the conductor is about 1.6 centimeters. We'll stay on 14 megahertz, 20 meters, and I'll probably use no more than 10 watts. Let's see what we get. Scroll down, and uh, you can see the uh, design of the antenna here. It's an octagon, uh, which will be made, of course, with copper tubing, and it's about 1.5 meters tall. You can see here that the efficiency of the antenna is 85%, which is absolutely awesome. The bandwidth, though, is very narrow, and we'll need 35 picofarads of uh, capacitance. Voltage is uh, almost 1,000 volts, so you don't want to touch it. Now we'll go... Uh, no, not meters. We'll go to uh, 10.1 megahertz, the 30 meter band, and see what we get. And here the result, the result. Uh, you can see the uh, efficiency is 64%. So it dropped quite a bit and the capacitance required has increased to 66 picofarads, a little bit more than 1000 volts. Okay, 7 megahertz, the 40 meter band, calculate. And you'll notice here that uh, the antenna efficiency has dropped significantly to 33%. And the capacitance increased again to 138 picofarads. Just for the sake of it, <laughs> we'll just try 80 meters, 3.5 megahertz. And you'll see here that for that frequency, the efficiency is practically nothing. It's 4%. And you need a pretty big capacitor. So it's really not worth it. The capacitor I used for my previous project was an air gap capacitor. 9 to 120 picofarads and I think 4 or 5,000 volts. It was very touchy, not easy to use. So this time I decided to get a vacuum capacitor from Russia. And this one here I think is about 7.5 to 350 picofarads, so a broader range. Also, it's 10,000 volts, so I could put a lot more power into the antenna. Now, as I've said, most of the commercial loops that you can find are just a tad too small. Uh, you can see here the uh, chameleon loop, and I was actually very surprised at how well that antenna worked besides its small size. And that's what they have to do to make them portable. But I don't really care about portable because it's for my apartment, so, uh, you know, I can make a bigger antenna. Oh, and by the way, I did make also one for six meters that you can see here, pretty darn small. But let's get back to the field. And here I brought my uh, VRM5080, so a military radio VHF uh, on the six meter band FM. I really like that radio and uh, I think a lot of uh, you guys uh, do too, actually, uh, given the comments I was getting on the last video. So let's uh, set it up and uh, yeah, we'll try to make some contacts. I have my uh, 49 to 1 transformer here. I'll just attach the wire about 2.8 meters long for a half wave on 6 meters. CQ, 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 
CQ, CQ, CQ, CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. F4, W, B, Y. Over. I'm going to try calling on uh, two meters and see if I can uh, get anyone maybe to go on uh, six meter FM like the last time. Et la latitude 43 degrés 37 minutes 38 secondes. D'accord, mais alors si je comprends bien, c'est 7 degrés 05 est. Oui, 5, 5 minutes et 05 minutes, c'est la même chose. Bonjour messieurs. D'accord, c'est ma oui, bonjour, euh, excusez-moi de vous interrompre, hein. c'est F4WBY, F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee, ici au Coldez. Ouais, F4 euh, euh, F, euh, Whisky Bravo Y, WBY, oh, c'est que déjà contacté. Bonjour, c'est Antoine Cuiro au Coldez. Voilà, c'est 6 Fox et Lima Charlie en compagnie de 3 Tango Radio, F3TR de Biot, c'est Jean-Pierre. Et on est en train de configurer. Euh, un site d'observation de satellite. Je vous repasse le micro au 4WBY, F3TR, f 6 flc Merci, oui, il est bien possible que nous nous sommes déjà euh, contactés. Hein. J'habite à Antibes, hein, mais là je suis, enfin depuis fin décembre, hein, euh, mais là je suis donc au Coldez et j'essaye de trouver en fait quelqu'un qui pourrait euh, passer, faire un essai sur le 6 mètres FM, sur 51,5 MHz, hein, au cas où. <rire> à vous. J'ai pas, j'ai pas, j'ai pas, j'ai sur le tracé vers décamétrique, j'ai pas d'antenne. Et bon, là, le petit décamétrique qui est à côté de moi, il s'en à 30 mégas, donc il fait pas le 50. Donc, sorry, 3TR, il a le 50 sur le tracé vert, mais il a pas d'antenne. Mais ça passe bien, écoute, hein. 73. I could swear I heard someone. Very faint. Oui, c'est euh, F4 euh, Whisky Bravo Yankee. F4 euh, Whisky Bravo Yankee. Ici au Coldez. Euh, Coldez, euh, bien reçu. QTH. 73 Bachir, ici le prénom de l'opérateur c'est Frédéric. Euh, Est-ce que vous pouvez me donner votre position s'il vous plaît Retour. Ok, pour Alger, ben ici je vous reçois dans de très très bonnes conditions. Hein. Là, je suis en extérieur avec un petit 817 et une petite directive Yagi, deux éléments, retour micro Bachir. Et Bachir F0 GMB, euh, ici votre signal c'est très très bon, hein. c'est du 75. Et Bachir, vous pouvez me donner vos conditions de trafic Oui, c'est un, un FT 8900, 50 watts, l'antenne c'est une verticale, une antenne verticale, bi-band, ok Ok, mais ça passe vraiment très 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 bien, Là, je suis surpris de, de ce QSO, je ne m'y attendais pas du tout. Hein. Voilà, moi de mon côté le 817 avec la puissance d'origine, donc il n'y a pas beaucoup de watts, peut-être 4 watts en FM. Il est un petit peu faible, 53, mais quand même, vous passez très bien. 
Ok, ben chien, ben, je vous remercie pour ce QSO, je suis très content de vous avoir, euh, de vous recevoir ici dans de très bonnes conditions, euh, je vous fais mes meilleurs 73 et je vous dis à bientôt Bachir, euh, F0 GMB, émission terminée. Merci, à bientôt. Formidable. Algiers to Nice, 2 meters FM. Crazy. Frédéric, behind me, <laughs> just talked, talked across the Mediterranean Sea <laughs> to uh, Algiers from Nice with a two element Yagi here behind me on 2 meters with 4 watts. In FM, it's crazy. Bashir de F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. Est-ce que vous me recevez? Bashir, do you copy Marco from Italy? On moment, la station est Italie. On moment, please wait a moment. Ok, si je pense que j'ai noté l'indicatif parce que vous arrivez à 52 avec du souffle. Faut F4 Bravo Whisky Yankee. F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee. Vous me recevez Oui, je vous reçois maintenant. C'est Fox 4 euh, Whisky Bravo Yankee. Ok, c'est 7X et 2. Rambé en Fox l'opérateur, c'est Bachir. Ok, Bachir, hein, enchanté hein, et très content de ce QSO qui est vraiment formidable ici à travers la, la Méditerranée. Hein. <rire> c'est quand même assez formidable. Je suis également ici au, au, près de Nice avec Frédéric que vous avez contacté il y a quelques minutes hein, et euh, sur le Coldez, donc euh, ici en, en hauteur hein, avec euh, l'antenne Yagi, deux éléments pointés euh, dans votre direction, à vous Ah d'accord, ok, ok, moi c'est une antenne euh, mi-bande verticale hein, sur le toit d'immeuble donc j'ai pas noté le prénom, F4 Whisky, bravo Yankee ah, Le prénom c'est Gilles, Gilles, Golf India Lima, Golf India Lima et vous pourrez, voir, vous pourrez vous voir en vidéo sur YouTube sur la chaîne Radio Prepper. Radio Prepper, P-R-E-P-P-E-R. -E -P -P -E ok, d'accord. Hein. C'est difficile de vous copier parce qu'il y a, je pense qu'il y a une autre station italienne qui est en train de moduler. Hein. Il arrive pratiquement au même niveau que toi, donc, euh, mais euh, c'est très très faible. Euh, bon, pas très très faible quand même, mais j'arrive à vous sortir. Mais c'est difficile des fois. Ok, Gilles, 100%, j'ai copié le prénom, il n'y a pas de problème, merci beaucoup. Ok, très très bien, donc euh, je vous dis bonne journée, bon fin de soirée. F4, bravo, euh, whisky, bravo, Yankee, c'est un trader, en mieux, Fox Trot. Merci Bachir, une excellente soirée et euh, un bon week-end, un bon dimanche. A une prochaine fois peut-être, 73 de F4, whisky, bravo, Yankee, terminé. Well, I'm not going to show you where I am here, because that's the next video. <laughs> I'm pretty high up. Um, It, and uh, it, you know, it was a little difficult to, uh, to get here, not too much, but... So about VHF and UHF, like I say, it's a whole new ball game here. And uh, which prompts me to try more 2 meters FM, uh, USB and CW. So the next video will be using my ICOM IC251E. Uh, But uh, I have to say this contact <laughs> to Algeria was absolutely amazing. It shows you that, hey, you know, you don't need a big amplifier, really. Uh, and if you think you do, <laughs> go watch my other videos because I don't know what to tell you. You need three things to be successful. You need the right location, the right antenna, and the right time. Uh, power isn't part of it. A little bit, but not you don't need that much. In this case, a simple two-element Yagi and four watts in FM did the trick. 520 miles. What matters is that there is nothing between the station, the two stations, basically. And here, I think what happened is that we got a tropospheric ducting between the sea floor, not the floor, but the sea itself, and uh, a temperature inversion uh, a bit above. And it does happen, not all the time, but you know, it does happen. But even direct line of sight up to 100 miles uh, does work quite often and most of the time if you have the height. All right, next weekend I will be uh, going back to the north of France to bring back my uh, PRC320 
see my parents and my girlfriend uh, and bring back a lot of radio stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'll have something prepared for you, actually, the video I'm shooting right now. Uh, you'll have it next Monday. Have a good one.